Civil society group Yaga Africa has condemned the results of the Edo State Governorship poll conducted on Saturday, saying the failed electoral integrity test. A statement released on Monday and signed by its chair of the 2024 Edo Election Mission, Aisha Abdullahi, and its executive director, Samson Itodo, argued that the 2024 Edo Governorship election failed to the electoral integrity test due to the lack of post-election statement on the transparency in the results collation process, which, according to it, led to the manipulation of results. It said while key processes such as accreditation, vote, voting, counting, and recording of results at the polling unit substantially complied with procedures, the results collation process was compromised by the actions of some biased INEC officials in connivance with other actors. It added that these manipulations severely undermined the overall integrity of the election. The group said it came to this conclusion after it deployed the process and results verification for transparency methodology to observe the Edo state governorship election. The method, it said, involved 300 stationary and 25 roving observers covering a representative sample of polling units across all 18 local government areas. Also, following the conclusion of the 2024 Edo State Governorship election, the People's Democratic Party candidate Asue Igodalo has thanked his supporters assuring them that their sacrifices will not be forgotten. According to the results declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission on Sunday, Igodalo came second with 247,274 votes behind Monday Okwebolo of the All Progressives Congress, who scored 291,667 votes. Olumide Akwata of the Labour Party came a distant third in the race with 22,763 votes. Even when he said the election result was a theft of mandate, Igodalo hailed his supporters, saying, describing them as true heroes of democracy. He alleged that their overwhelming support was evident in the ballots before the party's progress was unjustly halted on September 21, 2024, by people who do not mean well for the state. Particularly thank the good people of Edo State who defied the reins, the intimidation, the threats of violence, harassment, arrests, and financial inducements to cast their votes for us overwhelmingly last Saturday, 21st September, 2024. You are the true heroes of our democracy and your sacrifices for a better Edo state will never be forgotten. My aspiration was not born out of the love for power, but a genuine desire to serve the people and create a pathway to prosperity for all in Edo state.